Hello everyone, welcome to Portia YouTube channel. Myself Pradimna and today we will be discussing the problem good pairs. Its problem code is XORR and it appeared in the starters 40. It's a simple easy level type of problem and prerequisite for the problem is bit operations. So let's read the problem statement and understand it. So the problem states as chef has two arrays a and b each of length n a pair i j 1 less than equals to i less than j less than equals to n is said to be good pair if and only if a i x or a j is equals to b i x or b j so determine the number of good pairs so what the problem is saying us to do is uh, we will be having two arrays a and b of size uh, n and there will be elements like in the a array a1 a2 like there will be elements and in b array b1 b2 uh, up to bn so we have to choose uh, one uh, index pair that is i comma j which obeys this condition that is one less than equals to i less than equals to j less than equals to n and one more condition that is ai xor aj should be equals to bi xor bj so whichever ij pairs is satisfying this condition and this condition will be counted as one good pair so in this total a and b array we have to report how many good pairs are there in the answer that is a task of this question so the input format for the question will be the first line of input will contain a single integer t denoting the number of test cases the description of test cases follows each test case consists of three lines of input the first line contains a single integer n the size of array is a and b the second line contains n space separated integers a1 a2 up to an the elements of array a the third line contains n space separated integers b1 b2 up to bn the elements of array b and the output format is for each test case output on a new line the number of good pairs and the constraints of the question are t is between 1 and 10 power 5 n is between 2 and uh, 3 into 10 power 5 the sum of n over all the test cases does not exceed uh, 3 into 10 power 5 and ai and bi is between 0 and 2 power 30 so let's look at the sample test cases for this question so herein uh, the number of uh, test cases equals t is equals to 2 so coming to the first test case n equals to 4 and the array a is 1 2 3 4 and array b is 4 3 2 1 and let's mark the indices that is uh, 1 2 3 4 uh, so let's calculate the uh, this value that is uh, ai xor aj uh, is equals to uh, bi xor bj so let's calculate the ai xor aj and or bj for all the indices that come in between this uh, 1 less than i less than j less than n so for index pair 1 2 we'll have our ai is equals to 1 and aj is equals to 2 so 1 xor 2 is 3 and for uh, for the array b uh, bi will be 4 and bj will be 3 so 4 xor 3 is 7 so 3 is not equals to 7 so it is uh, this pair is discarded so coming to the index pair 1 3 uh, we will have 1 xor 3 uh, and uh, in the b uh, b array we will have 4 xor 2 so it will lead us to the values 2 and 6 which is also not equal so this pair is also discarded coming to the index pair 1 comma 4 we'll have 1 xor 4 and in b we'll have 4 xor 1 so this uh, give us the value 5 and 5 on both side so this is equal so this is a good pair we'll take this uh, so coming to the index pair 2 comma 3 we'll have uh, in the a side we'll have 2 xor 3 and in the b side we'll have 3 xor 2 so both will lead us to the value 1 and 1 on both side this is also equal we'll take this uh, so this is a good pair so next there will be index pair 2 comma 4 so in the a side we will have 2 xor 4 and the b side will have 3 xor 1 so we will have the value 6 and 2 which is not equal so we will discard this pair 
and similarly for uh, the index pair 3 comma 4 we'll have 3 4 uh, an XOR operation on this on one side and 2 XOR 1 on other side so 7 is not equal to 3 so we'll discard this uh, index 2 so on out of all the possible IJ values only the uh, index pair 1 4 and 2 3 are good pairs so the count of good pairs will be 2 in this case which is our sample output 2 and coming to the second test case that is n equals to 5 a is equals to uh, 13479 and b is equals to 510513 so uh, if you check for all the indices that is uh, 1 less than i less than j less than n you will find that for these four uh, indi uh, index pairs that is 1, 3, 2, 4, 1, 5 and 3, 5 the uh, XOR value of AI XOR AJ is equals to BI XOR uh, BJ that is uh, I have written down all the pairs and their values and calculated the XOR values as well here in, in index pair 1 comma 3 that is uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so index pair 1, 3 that is 1 XOR 4 should be equals to 5 XOR 0 that is true this is the correct one uh, like one good pair and for index pair 2 4 it is 2 4 uh, 3 x or 7 should be equals to 1 x or 5 that is uh, by calculating 4 is equals to 4 so this is also good pair 2 and for uh, index pair 1 5 1 x or 9 should be equal to 5 x or 13 that is 8 should be equals to 8 that is true this is also good pair and for uh, index pair 3 comma 5 4 x 9 should be equal to 0 x 13 that is 13 equals to 13 if this is also true there will be 4 uh, good pairs so the sample output is 4 so let's talk about the approach how we will solve this problem so this is the given equation that is uh, ai x or aj should be equals to bi x or bj so let's try to modify this equation and bring all i terms to one side and j terms to other side so here i am doing is uh, doing x or aj on both sides uh, so after that the equation will be like this and herein there will be aj x or aj so that will be equals to 0 because uh, same number x or same number is equals to 0 so we are left with ai is equals to bi x or bj x or aj so now i am doing x or bi on both sides so herein ai x or bi and here it will be bi x or bi x or bj x or aj so this bi xor bi will be again 0 so we are left with ai xor bi is, should be equals to aj xor bj so we modified this given equation into this new equation that is uh, ai xor bi should be equals to aj xor bj so uh, to check the condition uh, for good pair we will use this a new modified condition for this problem uh, our condition is now reduced to this ai x or bi is equals to aj x or bj and suppose these are the arrays two arrays a and b with values a1 a2 and b1 b2 like that so we will calculate one more uh, array like one more value that is a x or b that will be for a specific position the xor of uh, a at that position and b at that position suppose a x or b at second index will be a2 x or b2 like that for every index we will have the x or values of uh, corresponding a and b values at that position so we have all the values now according to our condition this uh, there is i in one one side and j in one side so this i can be made from any index and this j can be made from any index the only restriction is i should be less than j so that we can do so here in suppose uh, a3 uh, xor b3 is equals to uh, a4 xor b4 so this 3 and 4 index are forming a good pair so that we can directly check by comparing this xor value with this xor value if they are equal then this 3 4 are forming a good pair so out of the, all these XOR values, suppose we have an XOR value X uh, and X is coming in this uh, whole list three times. So X is present three times like in this three index 
the XOR value of A and B at that position is X, X, N, X. We know that. And uh, we can, how many pairs we can form out of this? So we can either take this pair, like this will form the I, this will form the J. We can take these two pairs, this will form the I, this will form the J. Uh, or we can take these two uh, indexes pair, so this will form the I, this will form the J. So you can see that uh, we can take NC2 uh, pairs out of, if N, are, N index are present, we can make NC2 uh, pairs, that is equals to N into N minus 1 by 2. So after choosing uh, any pair, the lower index will form the I and the higher index will form the J. So this condition is automatically solved, that is I should be less than J. And that many NC2 pairs can be formed of a specific XOR value and we can add that to the total and after calculating for each distinct value of XOR, we can finally print out the answer. Like X is 3 times, Y is occurring 5 times, A is occurring uh, 7 times. Like this X, Y, A are the some definite values present in this AX or B. So for all distinct values, we will calculate this NC2 out of their frequency and we will add them to our total and finally print out the total as the total number of good pairs that can be made out of array A and B. So this is the approach how we will solve this problem. Now let's uh, see the code. This is the C++ code that got accepted. So first of all I have taken the input for number of test cases T. Then in each test case I have taken the input for N and the two arrays A and B. And after that I have declared a map to store the frequency of each distinct uh, A, AIX or BI values. Uh, so after that I have iterated through uh, the arrays A and B and calculated their XOR at each position and store them uh, using this map along with the frequency of a particular XOR value. So after that uh, this is I have declared answer variable to store the answer and then uh, I have iterated through the map that is frequency and uh, calculated uh, the NC2 that is uh, x into x minus 1 by 2 out of all the frequency present in the uh, in our map and added them into the answer variable and finally printed out the answer. This is the python solution that got accepted. So first of all I have taken the input for number of test cases and ran a loop for that many times. After that I have taken the input for n the array A and array B and uh, after that there is a dictionary frequency to store the XOR values that represent uh, index i of AI XOR BI and after that I have iterated through the position 0 till n and calculated the XOR values of AI and BI and uh, stored their frequency in this frequency dictionary. So if it is present in key then I have increased the frequency by 1 and if it is not present then I have declared a new key of that XOR value and the frequency is 1. So after getting all the frequencies, I have declared a variable answer and iterated through the frequency values and for each value I have done the like NC2 that is uh, n into n minus 1 by 2. So in this case as i is the variable in which the frequency dot values is getting stored so i into i minus 1 integer division 2 so this will give us the uh, total number of pairs of a particular XOR value that I am adding to the answer and finally printing out the answer. So talking about the errors one thing needs to be taken care of is that as the n value is ranging uh, up to 3 into 10 power 5 so herein uh, this i dot second is storing the frequency only so this may be uh, 10 power in the range 10 power 5 and this is also 10 power 5 the total multiplication can go up to the range 10 part 10 which cannot be stored by a normal int so we need to have a bigger data type that is either long 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 so we have to use that uh, so as to store these large values uh, so herein I have declared long long answer and in map also I have long long so this will take care of any overflow and there will be no overflow error so that's it and thank you.